guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to sit down and start setting up my new planner. So recently I picked up a new planner. This is an Erin Condren 7x9 neutral vertical. Um, you can kind of see how I've been using it so far. It is a little bit of a different planner for me. I'm, I've been using an hourly for the last year or so. Um, so I'm definitely getting used to it, but I really, really, really enjoy it. And I think the neutral is probably the best option for me. So today I'm going to be using some of my stickers and washi tape to put together a spread to keep track of the girls' school schedules and most specifically Macy's because Macy's we have in advance, we know what it's going to be. So I'm going to be using kit 104 um, to do that. I'm also going to be using some new stickers that are going to be up right now when you guys are watching this. Um, that includes this mixed scripts for school. So it says first day of school in the first line, last day of school for the second line. And I did multiples of a lot of these so that if you have multiple kids, kids starting at different times, you know, you can use it or just multiple years because most likely you're not gonna need an entire sheet of school stickers. Um, we have parent-teacher conference, open house, meet the teacher, field trip, picture day, class party, book fair, art show and school concert, fall break, winter break, spring break, no school, spirit week, early dismissal, teacher appreciation and report cards. So those are the ones that I felt like were the ones that would be used the most. Um, so I'm gonna be using this to kind of label what the colors mean. And then I'm going to be using this, which is something completely new. I've never done anything like this before. Um, these are like transparent, not transparent, clear sticker paper. Um, and so it's gonna be really nice because I have my mini dots here. And when I lay them down, I'll be able to see the dates underneath. One thing to kind of keep in mind, I am very new to the whole idea of using clear sticker paper, but one thing that I've seen firsthand and also like seen by using other people's stickers that are transparent or clear is that the ink can sometimes smudge. So you're gonna wanna be really careful with these to like not- So like I was saying, you're not going to want to rub your hand over it. You're going to want to be really careful when dealing with these. Um, I'm going to be using some tweezers to put them down. And again, I'm just gonna try to avoid rubbing as much as possible. But these two sticker sheets are available in my shop right now. Um, so if you want to pick them up so you can do something similar or if you, you know, have another use for them, that would be awesome as well. So I'm gonna start off by just putting some washi down to make this a little bit more cutesy. Um, if you guys have been around for a while, you know that's kind of my thing. I like making things cute so that I'm excited to look at it. So I'm just gonna lay some washi down. I was thinking about potentially like putting something down um, and like, putting like Macy's school schedule or something like that, but I ultimately decided not to because I may also be tracking some of Mila's stuff in here. It just kind of depends on how well communicated her schedule is. Like right now I know of a few dates that she will not have school, but I don't know if they have like a set schedule that they can give out about like certain days that they don't have the kids, so we'll kind of see. Um, I do have a lot of stuff going on in the background, so hopefully it's not too distracting, but I do have stuff printing right now, and I have the big cutting machine going, and I figured I might as well, as I'm like, you know, just hanging out at the office, get some filming done. I'm kind of proud of myself because I have been doing really good about pre-filming. So this video, I'm filming like a couple days before it's actually supposed to go up, and I like had my day in the life go up already today because it is Monday and I have another video already uploaded. So I feel like I'm in good shape. I'm adjusting to having someone in the office because I'm just, I'm used to like being able to film whenever I want. Definitely kind of an adjustment for me. So I think I'm just gonna put the washi 
on the top there and then maybe on the bottom here just kind of mix it up a little bit because I feel like if I do it on both the top and the bottom for both sheets it's going to be a little bit too much although now that I think about it the bottom might be a good place yeah I think I'm going to leave the bottom for a good place to put the key so we're going to leave it I haven't done one of these in a very long time, so I'm just kind of rolling with it for now. We'll see how it turns out, but I have a feeling that having Macy's school schedule somewhere would be really nice just to kind of reference. And I'm hoping that when I'm doing my plan with me for the month that I get used to like looking at this. I do have communication from the school where like they'll send out like a newsletter and on the newsletter they do give us the dates that they're off but I don't always remember to look at that when I'm filming so anyway that's that I was thinking about putting like I said like a header up here that says Macy's school schedule or something but I don't think I'm gonna need that so I'm going to just leave it um okay so I want to put the first day of school and the last day of school in and I'm gonna use the same color for that so let me see, like I said, I have her school schedule that I can look at just on my phone really quick to do this process. Uh, let's see. Okay, so she started school on the 25th. And let's see, I was thinking it might be cute to, um, like pull a color and use like one of these to layer the stickers so we'll, we're gonna try that so let's do let's do pink for the first day and the last day of school and I'll zoom in so you guys can see this so she started on the 25th so she started on the 25th and her last day is going to be on the 8th of June. So June 8th. Okay, so you can kind of see those there. And let me zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see that it's clear you can see the date it's a very small circle which I absolutely love I love that you know you can still see it and that it's also small so if you need to fit multiple um, circles on top of each other it'd be a little bit easier doing it with such small little circles so anyway that's the beginning ending of school and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like I said use a pink box to put down first and last day I think um, so I have these scripts that say first day and last day. I'm trying to think of how I want to, I think I can just like overlap them here. Let's see if this will work. First day, last day. I think that'll work. So we know that the pink is first day and last day. And I think I'm just going to put it down here on the bottom. So we know that's that. I feel like you still didn't zoom in or zoom out enough that you could see it. So first day and last day there. And let's see. I think I'll just kind of add like cutesy little stickers whenever I can just to make it like just a little bit more decorative because you guys know me I like my decoration um, so I just put a little push pin there because I think that looks cute um, next let's go ahead and do like any days that she's off of school so no school and this is gonna be like not including breaks I think so it looks like let's do that in blue and Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna use this cute little sticker here. 
and just kind of overlap that and we'll put in the no school sticker so this will mark no school so we'll put that right next to it and I'm I'm trying to think I I kind of want to do no school and holidays in the same the same thing but I'm trying to think if that's what I want to do or not I don't know if there may if there's a huge reason why I should do like I don't know we'll see so let's do no school like the stuff that is unrelated to breaks right now so she has off on the 5th which is today so we need to do like a bluish color and I think I'm just going to use this color here. So she has the fifth off for Labor Day. And then she has off on the 10th of October. And on... She actually has off on the 7th as well. I didn't realize that she had so many days off in October. Um, so she has like a four day weekend there, which is nice. Um, and then she has the 8th of November off. Do your guys' kids get so many days off? I don't remember this last year, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about it. Then in January, she has the 2nd off, which I think is kind of part of Christmas break or winter break, but we'll just mark it anyway because it's kind of on another section. She is the second off, and then she has the 16th off. And let's see, she has the 20th off. of February and then she has geez a lot of days off um okay she has the third off of March and the sixth Um, and then she has the seventh off in April. And in May, she has the 26th off. 26th. And the 29th. Okay, and I think that's it in terms of <laughs> days off. That's a lot of days. Holy moly. I didn't realize there were so many. So, again, she is the 5th off, and then in October she has the 7th, the 10th. In November she has the 8th off, and then in January she has the 2nd and the 16th. In February, she has the 20th off. In March, she has the 3rd and 6th. In April, she has the 7th. And then May, she has the 26th and the 29th. Okay, so those are all the like no school days that are like random no school days. And then she has days that she's off um, for other reasons. So I think what I'm going to do, I think this would be good to do is maybe just have like the winter breaks the like 
fall, winter break, all that type of stuff on the yellow, like smaller ones. And then I'll just kind of mark them that way because I'm not I'm trying to think if I'm going to have space. Well, actually, I think I'll have space. Let's do this. Let's do spring break. Winter break. And fall break. I don't think they're all gonna fit very well there. I may need to like, that's why I was kind of thinking that I may just do them separate. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that because I like the way that looks better. I feel like it's too much in one box for the other ones. So I'm gonna need one more, I think. Um, let me grab one more. Okay, so I have an extra one. And we'll just use it there. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try and layer these. Although I'm not sure how they're gonna all fit again. Um, so let's see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get them all. Let's just try it this way way fall winter and then we'll do spring I think I gotta move this one a tiny bit more up okay so let's put the brakes in so she has spring break, or sorry, she has like winter, or fall break, my goodness. Um, here. The other thing about these stickers are they are, like when you put them down, that's it. Like you're not going to get them up. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. They're not removable like the other stickers that I have. It's definitely very different using these types of stickers compared to my like matte removable stickers. So just kind of keep that in mind. I would wait until you know a schedule is pretty set before you um, use the stickers for your monthly view here. Um, and then we have... Let's do spring break first. So that's going to be on the 27th of March. I may just have to draw like lines through for um, Christmas break because it's such a long period of time. May just make sense to like Put like a sticker on the first and then the second day and then or maybe even use like a highlighter that might work okay so we have those down and then let's go ahead and put the Christmas break or winter break so it starts on the 19th and goes to the 30th, which I guess technically it goes to the second, but that's okay. Because it's on a different page, we'll just run with it. So the 30th, and then like I said, I think I might grab like, I don't know, a, I might grab a highlighter and just draw through like a thin line um I think I'm gonna do that so let me go really quickly and grab a marker that I think that will work with that and then I'll be right back I have this yellow marker from Erin Condren that I think will work good but let me just go ahead and see oh no that is not gonna work <laughs> that's more of like a yeah that's not the right color so let me 
pop back in in a second that looks like it would be really good like a really light yellow but it turns out to be more of like a peachy color so that's not gonna work I'm gonna out. try and use this one instead and although that's kind of bright I think that's gonna be the best that I have I used to have like an Erin Condren um, highlighter that was like this like but like light and I, one of the kids must have taken it or I honestly, I don't know. So we're just gonna roll with it. So we'll do like a little line here across and I want to do like a light amount of pressure so that it doesn't do it too much and that looks perfect. So that works good. Okay, so that is how the winter break is going to look. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else in terms of like stuff that I need to mark. Um, ooh. She does have some half days, which is kind of interesting because we never had that last year. So let's see how many she has. Looks like there's just one in January. Kind of weird. Half day. August, September, October, November. So it looks like there's, it's just in January. That's so strange to me. Anybody else only have one? Like, that's so weird to me that they would just have that one. But it looks like January 13th, they have a kind of weird day. So, I think what I'm going to do is... How do I want to mark that now? Because that's kind of something that's a little different. Let's move this because now we have to have like an early dismissal day that I did not anticipate when I was kind of putting this together. Um, so, luckily I have an early dismissal. So I'm going to use early dismissal and I think I'm going to grab... I might actually just use this guy here and because it kind of goes along with the no school thing like the, the early dismissal so I think what I'm gonna do is put that here and then I'll do two ooh should I like cut it in half that might work kind of good but am I gonna notice that so what day was it again January 13th. Hmm. I'm going to try and cut it and we're going to see how, <laughs> how we like it. I don't know. I don't know guys. This might not work out well. Like it's so small too. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to cut it. the 13th all right so it's kind of like a half day hopefully I know what that means <laughs> I don't know it's kind of goofy to me but that's it's gonna work just fine all right so now I wanted to just use some of the leftover deco that I had to just kind of make this cute so I think I'm gonna put the little school bus down and Backpack might be kind of big. Just to like 
I don't know, add some cute touches. All right, guys, I think that is pretty much it for this little spread. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like it was a really fun way to showcase the new stickers offered. I obviously came up with the, these stickers because like I was saying before my camera decided it wanted to, wanted to die. I feel like it was a really fun way to display and show you guys these new sticker sheets in, um, in action. And then also give you an idea of how to use like some of the washi tape. If you purchase washi tape from me, um, or really honestly anywhere, and you're struggling to figure out how to like use it, I feel like washi tape is really fun for little projects like this where it's not necessarily, like you don't have a kit necessarily for like something like this or for like a notes page, but you still wanna make it look cute. Like I feel like for me, making it cute like this will keep me interested and have me like come back to look at it. Whereas if it was just kind of thrown together, I honestly don't know if I would like want to look at it. Um, but also, it's a good way to use some of your your like leftover stickers. These are all like leftover from when I did my spread before. Um, I used a lot of these stickers for like my weekly spread and so I just grabbed them all and I'm like whatever I can use great if I don't end up using it that's fine too but just kind of a fun way to use some of the leftover stickers that you may have so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see this little setup video let me know what you guys use this page for and also if you're excited about the new stickers and I will see you guys next time bye guys